Well, we're back with another six at six. Here we go. Number six is the weather changes. You might notice more creepy crawlers around your house, but if you're looking for ways to keep them out, here's a tip. Don't leave any wet, dirty towels in your bathroom. Spiders are drawn to moisture, and they find moist towels particularly attractive. What kind of towels, Robin? Yuck. <laughs> Thanks. Can you repeat that? Uh, mildly wet. Huh. Uh, the same goes for damp basements. Don't leave wet clothes or shoes on the floor and try to keep things as dry as possible. Mildly wet. Yes. I don't know why you use two words when one <laughs> suffices. It's How about not damp? Uh -huh. yeah. Look at that great. Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't, isn't it? beautiful? Wow. Yeah. You guys actually That's look right. really good. I don't wow. even see it because I just get distracted by a pad. Yeah. Just... <laughs> wow. You guys actually look good. That's really nice. It's a nice <laughs> thing to say about me. That doesn't hurt my feelings uh -huh. at all. Quaker Oats lady over there. Number five. <laughs> I like this. Is this too much? No, I like it. I don't I know. Say, I didn't say you I disliked it. Whirl. I didn't say I disliked yeah, it. Whatever. I love it. It's good enough for the pilgrim. It's good That's enough. That's the look that I was going for, Quaker Oats, so thanks. Yeah. Uh, you might not know the name Norman Lloyd, uh, but you should. Norman Lloyd was Hollywood's oldest working actor. He was 106 years old when he died back in May, but what a career he had. Now, to put it in perspective, Lloyd worked with everyone from Charlie Chaplin to Amy Schumer. He's been in movies like Limelight in 1952, Dead Poets Society in 1989, oh, yeah. Trainwreck in 2015, and best known for a long run in the 80s on St. Elsewhere. Oh, yeah. Huh. Wow, wow that that's a long career. Six. Yeah. Huh. Hey, number four, Christmas 2021. Two words, sparse trees. Oh. You know. If you've got a small space, they're not only super soups cute, they're soups easy to assemble. Who needs all those thick, fluffy branches, especially if you're lazy? With sparse trees, all you gotta do is string a few ornaments thrown on a strand of lights and call it a day. But here's my hint. Get a fake tree, a real tree, especially one that is sparse, mm. wouldn't last very long. The dry branches would shrivel up and fall off and nobody wants yeah. that. Yeah. Another one of those trends that I don't believe, Patrick. Didn't yeah. we just no. say it was black and white trees the other day? And yeah. Upside yeah. No, down five trees. Five people do it, and then it's, you know, somebody posted on BuzzFeed, and now it's a thing. <laughs> hey, if you're going to celebrate the birth of Jesus, you have to be trendy. Go all out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's important. Uh, number three, if you can't afford a real Tesla, this is a close substitute. Call the kids, grab grandma, and get everyone together to build a miniature version of the Tesla Cybertruck. It's from Mattel Creations. The actual Tesla truck doesn't come out until 2023, so you'll have a head start on everyone else. You can't drive this thing, you can't sit in it, and it could take days and days to assemble. But when you're done, it should look pretty cool on your shelf, and you'll need to have some patience. The kit has 3,300 pieces. Wow. All right, number two, let's go back 100 years. Dodgeball was way more extreme. One team stood in a circle. The other team <laughs> congregated in the middle. <laughs> the outer team then bombarded the inner team with medicine balls. Right. Medicine balls. Yeah. Those are those heavy oh, leather bound yeah. missiles that weigh between seven and 12 yeah, pounds yeah. that people used to use to work out. <laughs> God, I Take love dodgeball. It's such a great movie. <laughs> people actually used to get knocked out playing dodgeball when they got hit with those medicine balls. And players were ruthless. Over time, leather balls were replaced with rubber balls until the game was banned altogether, at least in some schools. Pathetic. Number one, let's talk about Richard Dawson. He was once host of the Family Feud, and he was known for kissing lots of female contestants. It was a different time. Oh. Is there anything that your neighbor has that you wish you had? A nice garden. Yeah? Yes. All right, let's take a look. Yeah. A nice garden. <laughs> Not there. OK. Uh, how <laughs> he kissed oh everyone on God. the lips. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. No money up there. I'd like to give you ten dollars. Oh boy. Wow. 
<laughs> he was also <laughs> half in the bag. <laughs> uh, Richard Dawson met Gretchen <laughs> Johnson on the show. She was a contestant. She wasn't the best part, but she ended up winning the ultimate prize. She and Dawson got married in 91. Is that her? Uh, I believe that's her. And we're wow. married until his death in 2012. Something that often gets your seat belt? I do remember oh, that is yeah, and yeah. not thinking it was odd. You yeah, know? It was nice like, to see though. He yeah. didn't discriminate. I mean he no, was kissing all no. the ladies. Y'all kissed know, every didn't lady. Matter. Cold right. sores, you know, for everyone. <laughs> uh, it, not yeah. on the cheek, you know, yeah. right on the right. lips. He was like the crazy uncle, right? Yeah. 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 Oh boy. Different time. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mike. Kaboom. There we go. Six and six. We <laughs> need right. a finish to that one of these days. Hey, what a beautiful look at